Okay, I guess Spirit wants one more message for the night's over with. Let me see. Ten of Swords. Answer. Answers. So I'm going to put that together. So there's going to be some answers about betrayal and having discernment with purity. Someone could be trying to put a blind eye over something. Like literally trying to ruin your purity. Somebody literally thinks you're blind. But you have a realization that someone's creation... That they should have surrendered because there's going to need change. So I guess there's something have to do with betrayal. There's going to be answers or this person's going to have to answer to something. And we got the hermit. Time spent in peaceful meditation, meaningful sol solitude. Shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual... Spiritual mentor or self-discovery. So you're self-discovering that people are backstabbers. That not everybody is for you. Not everybody is purity. Not everybody's going to realize that people need to surrender. Um, seven of air. A loss of peace of mind or personal freedom take action and be aware of others actions a material loss make sure you are being honest with yourself embarrassing secrets so that's what somebody's trying to put a blind eye over about is that your innocence somebody just betrayed themselves of trying to have embarrassing secrets Knowing that they can't put a wool over your eyes. That's like a narcissistic behavior. At that too. And people are realizationing that they should have surrendered. And they should have changed. But it looks like to me they cannot change this embarrassing secret. So nine of air. Unfounding fear. Expecting the worst. Thou creating self-fulfilling Prophecies allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation. Sleepless nights refocus your thought or thoughts. So somebody is literally on founding fear. So somebody's literally so the embarrassing part is that someone is trying to put fear in you, but it's really them. That's what they needed to surrender about. That they created their own fear. But I tried to put a blind so somebody was literally trying to say something about you. This person just betrayed themselves. And people are realizationing that a situation... That they put themselves in was... Now they're all worrying about an embarrassing secret. So that's probably what it is that they tried you. And it didn't end up very well. So ten of air. The end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness. A weight off your shoulders. The end of an addiction. A mal... Mel... Low dramatic, so probably over dramatic reaction. So yeah, somebody literally had a weird, weird overreaction to something, and they're upset because their betrayal is weighing them, not on you. So three of Earth, do what you love. Recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, 
working well with others and excellent reputation. Okay, so somebody was literally trying to ruin your reputation and it didn't work. So somebody literally tried to work with others. Now it looks like to me they just embarrassed themselves. So they try to ruin your reputation. They try to work with others to make you on impurity. They try to get people to realize that you're such this some odd person that was in worry that had secrets. That's not the case. It's the other way around. Uh, to a fire. Taking the next steps, bold, ambitious choices. Pretend parter, parturning, parturning up with others who share your dreams, expanding your plans, continuing to move forward. Yeah, so that's what it is. That's what's embarrassing is because you're moving forward and you got the chariot, which means that you, you're good. So somebody literally tried to paint a picture of you. Some people were trying to come out here to try to make somebody realize that they think you don't know how to work with others, that you're worrying about some or you took something out of proportion. It's really truthfully them for whoever it is. Yeah, the chariot. Uh, rewards that come from hard work successfully balanced many parties at once. Determination and willpower public recognition. Yeah, so these people better surrender and change because these people are not going to be able to slander you. They're not going to be able to change anything about you. And someone just pretty much made themselves look like an idiot. At that too. Someone did. Now that's what's embarrassing. Because it could be about them. Who took something out of proportion. And trying to say stuff about you. Point the finger at you. But it pointed right back at them. So yeah. You're continuing to move forward. You're worried about yourself. You're ambitious. And you're the chariot. You're getting public recognition. So aid of fire. Too much going on, stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events, or rapid changes, the ability to multitask, business travel. Yeah, so someone was probably trying to talk crap about you that you probably didn't know how to... How you can multitask multiple things, meaning your love life, your home life, your spiritual life. They're probably wondering, how do you multitask all these energies or the energy flow is what I'm getting. You're multitasking events that's rapidly changing in your life. So they're having a hard time keeping up with you. Let me see. One fire. An amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, optimistic. Now is the time to take action do what you're passionate about. So yeah, you were doing something that you're passionate about and people are like trying to doubt you, trying to make you look like you're like you're doing something wrong. Somebody was literally trying to get it to where you're not purity, but others sees you in white. White energy. So this person just literally is in fire. Fire could also mean like um, anger. There's blue. They're in a calm state, but not really. Green could possibly be the fact that they're trying to be calm. They're trying to be slick. They're trying to get angry. They're trying to betray you, but it's not working. Because you're doing what you love. And it uh, looks like to me these people are going to get a reality check to leave the Empress alone. So, time to take action, give birth to your dreams, creative projects will be very successful. Yeah, so somebody was literally trying to think that you were never going to be successful, that you were this horrible person, or trying to make you out to be something. You're the empress. You're minding your own business. You're sitting, you're minding your own you're more worried about your creativeness. You're more moving forward. You're not caring. 
So a person is bothered because you are the empress. You're not worried about petty gossip. You're not worried about people trying to multitask being hooligans at that time. So page of um, error. Logic, perspective, insightful, blunt, and ex exciting intellectual challenge brilliant insight information that you need but might be challenging to receive review all documents very carefully so yeah there was an individual who literally thought they knew you and they don't this person is literally trying to like, this is really going to make somebody mind-bubbled how people are not coming after you anymore. How people are not looking at you like you're trying to do something. And it uh, looks like these people are going to have to answer to why their stuff's not adding up. To why they keep trying to do something when they're the ones who are bothered. So it looks like to me somebody's bothered. Then you got the lovers would be Gemini. Uh, embrace true love and deep, intimate friendship. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health or recovery from an illness. So these people could be trying to say that you're sick or you need something or maybe you actually got people out there that used to know you. That's sticking up for you. That these people need to change. And start having balance in their life. And stop coming after you. Because everybody is seeing you balanced out very well. You have done your tribulations. You have been through what you need to. And you have become a better person. And this person is not going to want to take this too kindly. That you have changed into a better individual. Seems like for whoever is trying to, they pretty much back, backstab themselves because it's about them. So, like I said, the one point, the finger points right back. So, then we got Queen of Earth, uh, generosity, practicality, or practical, uh, courageous. Uh, materialistic, the ability to make anything more beautiful, a love of family and home, be practical about how you proceed, a love of art and beauty, a sensible approach. Yeah, so it looks like to me that people are being more sensible approach whenever your name's getting mentioned. So I feel like somebody's literally talking bad about you and people are getting tired of it. And they're saying that this person minds their own business. Why do you keep getting bothered? Why do you keep projecting? Why do you keep bringing this person up? So that's probably what it is. Then we got a queen of water. A loving, compassionate, psychic self. Sacrificing deep psychic insights. Caring for others but forgetting to take care of yourself. Trust your intuition, a deep love of family and friends, follow your heart. So, yeah, there literally could be people out here trying to say that you are forgetting how to take care of yourself. They're pro they probably don't like your spiritual gifts. That's pretty much what it is because you listen to your higher self at that too. And you're not tolerating anything. You're the empress and you are a queen. You got two queens out here. And then you got four of uh, Earth. Managing your resources wisely. Ex extremes in how you give or receive money. Time or emotion. Smart businesses decisions. Seeing things as black or white. Being charitable. So there could be people who's trying to do businesses. And not understanding that you have wise resources of how you give your emotions. So this is you understanding when you should put your energy into and when you should detach from it. Is what I'm seeing. And then we got the queen of air. Brilliant, experienced, harmonious, judgmental, releasing, 
situations, or people that no longer serve you. You seeing the humor in difficult situations, focusing on career, divorce, or unmarried individuals. So, this is the problem. There is a person who is... Pretty much saying that you're judgmental because you release people who backstab you, who's betrayed you. You're stepping in to your higher self. All right. That's what these people cannot stand. That these people are still like these people got cut off. So you may have had old friends, people that you knew. And uh, they are... Not understanding how to grow up. They do not know how to cut situations off. You laugh at people now these days and they don't like it. That's what I get the feeling of. And then we got a seven of earth. We got a seven of earth out here. Uh, seeds well planted. Efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience, a time for resting and planning for the future. Unnecessary worry. Yeah. You are not worried because you've already cut these people off. That's what these people are so embarrassed about. This is why they backstab themselves because um, they're about to get told what's up. They're about to get told they're not bothering you. They have let go of people. Why can't you not cut it? It's because they're bothered by you knowing how to let stuff go, pretty much. Let me see. Ten of Earth. Financial security for yourself and your family. Inheritance or re retirement. Peace and contentment in life. Honoring family traditions. Pride in the family tree. Passing on acknowledge. So, yeah. So, I'm about passing on your ancestors' messages of being helpful. Trying to, well, that's probably what the card said about um, being a spiritual mentor. That you are passing down your ancestors, your family tree. Acknowledge. Maybe you're starting to understand your ancestors' acknowledgement and passing it on to others to help others to understand that people can change, but they don't want to. Let me see. Page of Earth. Uh, scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself Happy news about your career, position, or scholarship, a new area of study. Yeah, so that's that's probably what's taken off these people is that they don't understand. Why are you looking up all this stuff? Why are you doing this? Like, what are you doing? Like, you pretty much got these people bothered because uh, you are more on the spiritual side and they don't understand you. They might think you're weird, but who ain't? You know what I mean? Who's not weird. So then we got the. Mischievous. Eh? So that's why you probably cut people off. Because they're being mischievous. That you are understanding. The knowledge of why you cut people off. Why you don't care. You are starting to learn. How to detach. And let go. That's what's probably taking off these people that you know how to cut off anybody at any time. Because the Queen of Swords is not the one to be playing with. She's the one who will cut you and say, Be gone, Satan. I don't think so. This person knows how to listen to their intuition. They know how to be sensible to approaches. They have really learned a lot. And these people... Like, somebody cannot stand how you are being seen in the light of being a good person. You are not your past. So there's people upset that they don't have you worried anymore. That you know how to be creative. 
You know how to multitask things. You know how to deal with mischievous people. And you know how to deal with uh, spiritual stuff. You know how to deal with emotions. You know how to deal with not letting things bother you. But nobody's perfect. But you are somewhat passing on something. Let me see. And we got the five, five of fire. Conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. Walk away from drama unless the situation real is really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself. Very ambitious people. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying though. That's what's going to embarrass these people who are trying to backstab you. Is that people are just trying to bring you conflict when you're not doing anything. You literally do not say nothing. You pretty much don't deal with conflict. You walk away from it unless you feel the need to stand up for yourself. That's what these people are mad about is that you don't get in the drama anymore as much. But you will speak up if you feel the need to. But you will be put in your place. Then we got the magician. Uh, magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. So yeah, that's the thing though. These people cannot believe how magical you are. They literally think that you're the magician or they think that there's something about you that they can't comprehend. Of how you mastered so quickly over the years. Of how you don't tolerate nothing. But you will stand up. If it needs to be. You know how to cut people off. And for people who's been trying to do word magic. That's that too. People trying to have opinions about you. People are getting shut the. They're getting shut down. Like people are not wanting to hear it no more. Because these people just constantly wants to have. Your name in their mouth all the damn time. They're getting told to shut up. They're almost about to get cut. Like they're literally about to have somebody really tell them. What is your problem? Why are you so jealous? Why are you so obsessed? So there's people pretty much obsessed with you. Why they can't just cut you off. Because there's something about you they can't stand that you've changed. So there's people coming in. That are telling people to knock off their crap. Or their secrets will be exposed for them being petty. For picking on an individual. So, king of fire. Motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious. Take a leadership role. Step into the spotlight. Public speaking. Keep your eyes on the big prize. Communication or communicate your vision don't be sensitive to criticism exactly Ugh. that can actually be why people are so angry at you is because you probably do tarot or you're a public speaker you really don't care about the criticism you don't care about that and you public speak the spotlight's on you, and that's what's taking off these people, that the attention is not on them. You are shining, and people who are in the dark night of the soul hates the light. So they're mad because the attention is not on them anymore. And that's pretty much it. You are publicly speaking that you will cut people off. You're not going to tolerate it, but you will stand up. And when the time you do stand up and say something, that's when these people want to cry and complain and bitch that you yelled at them pretty much. They want to cry and bitch because you stood up for what's right. So, eight of error. The illusion of entrapment, a lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless being afraid to take action. Take responsibility for your life now. Yeah, exactly. There's people who don't know how to take responsibility for their own life. Meaning, they are trapped. They have low self-confidence. Like, they are trapped in a mindset that you are... 
this and that and people don't see it. Like this person is trapped in the mind or maybe somehow you trigger this person. You make this person obsessed with you when you are not trying to. That's being realizationed. Now, then we got the page of water. Uh, sensitive, opening hearted, and experienced moody messages regarding relationships, new emotional experience, a romantic encounter, social invitations or events heightened psychic abilities yeah so these people could be very sensitive of how intuitive you are how people has a somewhat of a spiritual connection to you or someone who has an emotional attachment to you or the fact of is that you're moody and that's what these people are mad about. How people, anybody, you're moody to. But it could also be maybe that their partners are bothered. Because they are trying to understand how you are. So... This is passing on acknowledge. Yeah. So they don't understand how high ranked you are at that too. They do not understand this. Yeah, we got justice. Uh, be import, imperial and objective. Stand up for what you believe in. Try to see all sides of a situation. You will win if you... If your position is one of integrity. Yeah, so pretty much justice, karma hit for whoever tried to come at you very recklessly. Uh, that's what happened to the energy flow. That's the mischievous part that you do look at both sides. These people don't. They don't look at both sides. They just go with a gung-ho thinking they know you. That's what it is. Because you're getting justice, but your heart's in the right place. You stand up for what is right. You look at both sides. You try to help out the right. You don't try to help out the wrong. Pretty much, you look at everything, and they know every situation they try to bring you, you win. Because it uh, looks like the wheel... Uh, oh, I forgot to do that. Knight of Earth. Loyal. Detected. Protective. A apprehensive plan. Carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect timing. A guardian or someone who watches over you. So somebody's literally watching over you because they know somebody's literally trying to mess with your fortune or try to mess with your world. That's not going to happen. And the reasons why I say that, why somebody is watching over you, that could mean somebody that's alive or somebody who is in the spiritual realm. It's hard telling. Okay? Don't shoot me. So, five of air. An unwise choice there's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. So, yeah, these people are full of shit that try to come at you. They had questionable behaviors. That's why people stood up for you. Because they know you're being watched over. You question people's lack of integrity. That's why you're a little bit judgmental. But when you start questioning people of their of their behaviors or how the way they're moving and you're questioning it, that's when these people get nervous. You are questioning, but you leave it alone until you feel the need to speak up. 
because you know they're in their ego and others others are pretty much saying that this person is egotistic meaning that all they want to do is just judge you because they're in their ego they don't know how to let it go and it looks like to me since this ego card looks like capricorn so the illusion of being trapped accept responsibility for your situation then make choices that support your path to happiness addictions or unhealthy habits yeah so there's people that are doing unhealthy attachments to you that literally this person just helped you to break free from chains so there's people who had chains on you and they broke it whoever's looking after you for whoever is watching over you, they literally broke that chain where people can no longer come at you sideways. That is being realizationed here. That they can no longer pull their shady stuff. You are very protected. You are being watched over. So pretty much they need to take self-responsibility because uh, that's why that's why an air sign or somebody in the energy flow just hurt themselves or people hurt themselves because uh, they're going to have to answer to people. Why are they up in their ego? Why are they having questionable motives? They need to change and they need to surrender and stop trying to come after an individual because it's being realized. So your ancestors, your family tree is knowing that somebody is literally not backing off of you at that too. That's why you know how to cut people off. And you do listen to your higher self. You're not, you're not much about the drama, but once, when somebody gets your attention, they're going to know and they're going to feel it. They're going to wish they would have never caught your attention in the first place. Their ego is really going to cost them everything. All right. That's why they're in worry because you're not worried about it. You know, you know who you are. You know what you do. You know what you don't do. And someone just literally broke it to where you can get free, where they don't have the chance. So pretty much the devil is mad because people cannot come at you anymore at any sideways. That's why there's justice, because you will speak up for the right. And it looks like some people are actually somewhat trying to get people to shut their mouths because it's not adding up. There's people realizing that you're not the problem here. They are. From what they're trying to do. But uh, this is this is probably it for tonight. Spirit wanted to do one more reading. This is all I got. Hopefully this helped. I hope you guys have a good night.